here we have a diplomat AM FM transistor radio from the 80s or 90s it's made in China so you know it's good uh, I found this outside A friend found this outside on an abandoned property, and he picked it up and gave it to me. It's obviously been outside for some time. And it's an AM FM radio that I think hangs on a wall or something. And today we're going to... Oh, we have a massive speaker. Today we're going to perform a resurrection, I mean, sorry, insurrection on it and uh, see if we can get it to function again. I doubt we will because it's pretty trashed. So let's open it up and we'll hook power to it. It's a radio on a chip. What a surprise. They couldn't even bother to use red wire for the positive lead. They're so damn cheap. Have the uh, high quality tape and hot glue. The uh, massively powerful 0.5 watt speaker for all the high range bass that anybody would ever need. And, of course, can't forget the antenna just aimlessly sticking out the front. But. Let us, uh. Put power to this. Six volts, I think it needs. Okay, I got six volts on the supply. Is there positive? Is there a negative? Get this over here. See what she does. Okay, our voltage dropped to four. Oh, it's like almost shorted. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like a direct short. Hmm. Switch them around then. Ah, oh, there we go. Such a bass. Always getting blinded by the brick. Still burning. Right. I bet Amy's back in Austin. And I. For you as well. And the term lifeline we study. Under the water. Carry the water. Oh, you turd, quit.
That's better. The Diplomat, everybody. And now it doesn't work. I turn it off and it doesn't work. How about that? Just a few minutes away from... I don't know how this 